Central and Lauderdale County looks to return to prominence in 2023. That's coming up next on Exports Tonight. From the Exports Network, this is Exports Tonight. Welcome to Exports Tonight. I'm Major Good starting things off right here in Central where the Wildcats were looking for a return trip to the playoffs. They went six and five a year ago, but with a young group, this team is looking to take another step. Central is back on the practice field to start 2023, and they're ready to return to form. You know, just excited about their work ethic and, uh, you know, um, their eagerness to be ready to try to get ready to play. The Wildcats went 6-5 and five with a playoff berth a year ago, but they are hoping for more this time around. It's very motivated because uh, our like main goal every season is just to get in the playoffs, so we're just working to get back in there. Central will return to a combined five starters on both sides of the ball, breaking in a lot of youth. You know, the kids, uh, everybody's out here working hard, trying to earn those positions and things like that. You know, spring went well, uh, so, you know, we're trying to carry that over into the fall camp here. With the youth comes new responsibilities for the upperclassmen who didn't have them before. It's definitely changed because last year I was a 10th grader, so I wasn't like, I was a leader, but like I wasn't as big as, a, as it was as a, like a role. So now it's like I've gotten older, so. I'm the left grader, so I just got to lead more. The Wildcats have made the playoffs in three straight seasons, and they want to continue that trend in 2023. Talking about that, you know, we talk about goals and different things like that. That, that is our goal is to try to be there at the end of the season. But in order to do that, we got to take it one week at a time and one game at a time. You know, all that matters right now is, is getting ready for this, this first game we got coming up September the 1st. Coming up next, we head on over to Rogersville to check on Lauderdale County. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air, so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. Don't be left with stumps, overgrown trees, and cluttered land. Make the call today to Bayworth Trimming. Licensed, bonded, and insured. Proudly serving the region with years of know-how. Call today, 931-300-3554 or visit bayworthtrimming.com. A local law firm respected throughout the state Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. From the Exports Network, this is Exports Tonight. Welcome back to Exports Tonight. Now over to Rogersville in Lauderdale County, where they're looking for another return to the playoffs as well. They win 7-5, and five, but also looking to take another big step in 2023. After a 7-5 and five season and a trip to the second round of the playoffs, Lauderdale County is ready to get back to work. We all don't have no problem working and it's worth 
ethic is very good in all of us and we just like getting out here and putting work in being with our brothers the tigers 2022 campaign had a lot of close losses an area they're wanting to fix this season i feel like we lost some games we shouldn't have i guess probably everybody does but uh you know we will we'll learn from that and part of the key part of the stuff and you know we don't want to make excuses but we we weren't as deep as i feel like we are this year and i think That'll go a long ways, hopefully, toward helping us fix some of the things that we had to deal with last year. Lauderdale County will return a lot of depth this year, especially at the skill positions. Skill people, our backs, we're really deep in the backfield. We've got a good group of receivers. The secondary is deeper. Offensive and defensive line, you know, we're, we're, we're still trying to develop some, some younger guys there, but they're coming on. After another playoff trip, this group of Tigers is wanting much more in 2023. Well, we're very motivated, you know, it didn't end like we wanted it to, so just get back and try to work how we're supposed to and get back to the place we're supposed to be. But first, the first game is right around the corner, and they still have a lot of work to do. Again, we do have quite a bit of experienced st uh, starters, and so I think we should we should be able to handle things, be a little cleaner maybe than we were last year, so that's what we're looking for. Play hard, I mean, that's all we ask of them. Play as hard as you can and try to do your job, and, and we'll be happy. Coming up next, we switch things over to college football to check in on UNA. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931-201. 9098 so we can help you make the switch today. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union. Not for profit, for service. From the X Sports Network, this is the North Alabama Report, presented by First Class Charter. Welcome back to X Sports Night. Now over to college football in Florence, where North Alabama continued practice, getting ready for that Week Zero matchup in Montgomery. The big focus for the Lions in the offseason has been improvement on defense, and that starts with the linebackers. The Lions defense was one of the worst in all of the FCS in 2022, but new coach Brent Deerman has brought in a new staff that is trying to buck that trend. UNA will return a good core group and has brought in some from the transfer portal as well. Linebacker coach Deshaun Davis likes what he sees so far out of his guys and they'll make a big impact in 2023. I have a really athletic linebacker core, um, starting with um, Amar Floyd. He's probably one of my most athletic guys, um, probably my most consistent guy as well. He makes a lot of plays each and every day. He loves the game of football. He comes out to practice every day. He has fun. He's a joy to coach. Um, um, on the other side of that, um, Sean Myers is my mic backer. 
he's kind of the nail head of the defense right now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to try to build that calluses in him, you know, to kind of be, be that tough guy, you know, be the, be the backbone of the defense. Uh, Rush Lansdale is also a, a guy that's brought, it, brought uh, some good depth into the room. Um, he, he came from Memphis, a uh, local guy. You know, he, he's a big, strong, athletic linebacker, um, has a safety background, so he's able to do a lot of covering for us. Seth Hampton is a, a, a freshman, you know, who's came in, and, and he knows the defense like he's been here for, for, for longer than we have, you know. So he's a smart guy, a guy that I can depend on. A.J. Phillips is another guy that I can depend on. Uh, so as, as many guys I can get to, to buy into the standard and play to our standard, uh, uh, that just brings in more depth and more guys that we can rely on throughout the season. That does it for X Sports tonight. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys once again tomorrow. This is the X Sports Network.